Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a root locus diagram on MATLAB. So, we have an example transfer function here. So, with this transfer function, we are going to draw the root locus diagram and we are going to simulate it and see the direction of the loci, that is the direction from the poles and towards the asymptotes or towards the zeros so we are going to define this transfer function i hope you remember how to define transfer functions that give you methods of defining so you can watch the previous videos to learn so we are going to define this transfer function so half one two and three so if i hit my enter that is a continuous time transfer function so to draw the root locus diagram of this transfer function i simply type in the command arrow locus of the transfer function h so if i hit my enter i'm going to see the root locus diagram of this transfer function so i can see that i have a pole here i have another pole here i equally have two zeros i have a zero here and i have a zero here but in this diagram, I cannot simulate it and see the direction of the loci or the movement of the loci. So, in order to simulate and see the movement of the loci, I simply type in the command RL tool of H. So, I'm going to turn my grid on. Grid on. So I have the input output transfer, the step response. So here I have the root locus. So these two pink boxes, these two small pink boxes that you just see here are the loci. So I can make the loci to come towards each other or to move away from each other. And equally when I can make them to come each other, I can make them to shatter that is to go back to their origin so that is the origin of the low side so when they come towards each other they separate and they now move towards the zeros so that is that so i'm going to give you another transfer function for you to draw the root locus diagram and to simulate it and after that i'm going to show you some other properties that you can get from this window easily without typing any command so i'm going to give you this transfer function so you have five minutes to draw the root locus diagram of this transfer function and simulate it so your time is up so your time is up so i'm going to close this one no i don't want to save it so this transfer function i'm going to define it as k so k equals tf of so i hope oh let me use the zpk method here yes yeah, zpk since you'll be very easy to use the zpk method to define this type of transfer function since i already know the roots of the numerator and the denominator so i'll have a one here I'm going to have negative 2. So what I'm writing are just the root of the numerator and denominator. So this one indicates root of numerator. Then this one's root of denominator. Then equally, I'm going to put the gain, which is negative 5, as seen on the transfer function. So if I hit my enter button, so... To draw the root locus, I simply type in the command root locus of k. Then let me just turn the grid on. So if I look for it here, so this is it. So this one, so let me maximize it. Okay. So here, we have a zero at one so we are going to have a zero at one so here if i take a cursor 
I come and I click here, I'm going to see that the zero is at one. So here is it, pole one. So equally, we are going to have three poles at three different conservative three poles. So we are going to have three poles. That is a pole at negative two, negative four, and a pole at three. So if I use my cursors, I'm going to see a pole at negative two here. I'm going to see a pole at negative four here. And I'm equally going to see a pole at three. So let me cancel out my cursor. But in this diagram, I cannot simulate it and see the direction of the low side. So I'm going to type in the command RL tool of K. So I'm going to turn the grid on. So that is a step response. Here is a root locus editor. So here is the root locus editor. So in this editor, I can simulate and see the direction of the pole. So or the direction of the low side. So I can see that there is a low side, a locus here, a locus here, and another locus here. So I can see their movement as they move away from each other or towards each other. So in this window, you can equally get the Nyquist diagram, bot diagram, or what we have been doing in the previous videos. So here you have new plot. So you can get the step response from here. You can get the bot diagram from here, impulse response, Nyquist diagram, and all others. So to get those other diagrams this other for example if i want a bot the bot diagram for this particular transfer function i just click here so here this window is going to appear then i come to plot so when i click on plot the bot diagram for that transfer function is going to be generated without me having to type in any command in the command window so this is what this window does so this is how this window is interesting even the impulse response so i can equally get the impulse response so this is the impulse response for this transfer function so thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and please share to others who need it thank you